What is going on everyone and welcome to another Coffee Break episode. I'm super excited. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can stay notified on new videos that I'll be releasing uh, more frequently, so to say. Um, I'm super excited as to, you know, what I'm doing now, how what I'm able to do now as far as like schedule and push out more content for you. I have, you know, interviews that I'll do with people. Then I'll have uh, segments just like this one. Um, but I wanted to do a small little recap today and talk about being undervalued, right? Do you undervalue yourself? Do you kind of like put yourself uh, less than what you're actually capable of doing? I know and I've come across so many people sometimes and, and you ask them like, what do they do? And they're like, well, no, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I could do it. But then you look at their work and you're like, wow, you know, like you're a little more than okay. Like you're actually pretty good. You know, you're, you're, you got some good stuff out there. But because they're so used to just kind of seeing themselves less, that's where they end up staying at, right? And it's something I, I wanna highlight because I've seen so many friends of mine, I've seen other people that I've come across that as we have conversation, I end up hearing them get into the moment of just like get into a place where they're just like, no, yeah, you know, I, I wanna try, but you know, I'm not sure. And they're like, not confident in what they can do even though they know that they're capable of doing but it's just their view they're constantly undervaluing themselves you ever gone to uh, a job interview right everything goes well you meet with everyone and then they give you an offer letter you know how many people i know just take that offer letter sign it and just okay whatever did you know that you can actually negotiate an offer letter? I just wanna throw that out there. When you're going in for a job, you can actually negotiate your offer letter. The company is gonna give you based on what they think or, or what other people you know, are getting paid and then they're gonna to try to wanna you know, lowball you a little bit. But when you know what you're worth, when you know your value, then things change a little bit because now you go over that offer letter and you're like, wait a second, um, yeah, uh, you think I can get this instead? You know, I'm able to do this. I'm able to do that. I can give you this. This is what I'm going to offer you as far as a worker. You know what I mean? Those little things like that go a long way. And what's the worst thing that can happen? You may not get 100% of what you asked for, but you're not stuck to what they're giving you or pretty much like, value you as right you should know your value you should know what you're worth you should know what you're capable of doing and maybe sometimes you just got to step back and do like a yearly review on yourself right like what what am i capable of doing right what am i good at what am i not so good at and the areas that you're good at give a value to it you put a value to, to that work that you do. Only you know the time that you're putting in. Like content creation takes a long time. A lot of people just see a video and they're just like, ah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know? Or some people ask, you know, I wanna get a video done. And then you give them a price and they're like, uh, yeah, that's, you know? But they're not looking at what it takes to actually produce that film, you know, the, the products that it takes to produce a really good, you know, uh, uh, content and with that being said people are just used to just valuing somebody else based on their own assumptions but you should be valuing yourself based on what you're capable of doing right so if there's anything that I want you to kind of capture today at this coffee break is do not undervalue yourself don't undervalue yourself know your worth know what you're capable of doing and make sure that you actually pull through with it you know what I'm saying make it happen put a hundred percent what you got because most of the time you're gonna make it happen because you're 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 putting value to that very thing that you know you're good at 
So if you know you're good at something, it's not like a prideful thing, you know? It's just like being humble at the same time. Be like, oh no, you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm good at that. I, I, I can produce, you know, a good piece of work. And not having somebody tell you what you're worth because you already know what you're worth. You get what I'm saying? Today is a new day for you to stop, reevaluate yourself, and be like, you know what? Hmm, I am good. I am capable. I do have what it takes. And just do it. God bless you. See you in the next one. Wait, you thought it was over? You thought I was gonna do a coffee break without my cup of coffee? I'm pretty sure some of you were commenting right there like, where's the cup of coffee? It's a coffee break, right? Yes, I have my coffee. I didn't forget. And yes, this is a great cup of coffee. But today, actually today's sponsor is ParaminoApparel.com. It's a faith-based positive apparel brand. Be positive, speak positive, wear positive it's a faith-based apparel brand and you can visit them at paraminoapparel.com for all their content all their 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 products on there all their products are pretty dope they're good quality and above all things the gospel is spread out through every single product you buy from them so make sure you visit ParaminoApparel.com and just cop something. Go buy a sweater. Go buy a, you know, a t-shirt. Or just go buy this one. This one right here. Never scared. Check them out. ParaminoApparel.com And like every coffee break, we'll see you in the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.